Hey guys, what's up? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about browsing. How can you browse more securely and privately as well as more anonymously on the internet? So we're going to help you find some really good add-ons, some settings to configure, and more in this video. Alright guys, so for the purpose of secure browsing, I'm going to recommend Firefox. It is very fast, developed by a non-profit uh, company. Uh, there's lots of add-on supports and overall it's always just been a very trusted and well-respected browser um, There are some other options like Tor out there, which some people recommend However, I don't really recommend Tor, Tor as much because it, it while it may be more anonymous um, It definitely is slower since you're using kind of uh, internet through bouncing Tor relays also people who are out, out there who really like Tor um, there has been instances where Tor has not provided the best level of nominity uh, in case of Silk Road and other examples where spy agencies have found people using it not only that but if you're not using a VPN before you connect to Tor um, your ISP and other kind of agencies can also see that you're using Tor um, maybe not exactly what you're doing on it but Who's to say? So for the purposes of this video, I recommend using Firefox and we're going to show you how to configure Firefox to be more secure and anonymous. So guys, starting out, the one good thing about Firefox is that you can go to the um, extension page and then look here. I will put this in the description down below. And this is a very good start on how to start making your browser more secure. Uh, a lot of these options here are very good options. You could uh, check out Decentralize. Basically what this does is it makes uh, protects you against tracking uh, through free centralized content delivery. Um, it's a pretty cool add-on and you can easily add it to your um, browser. This add-on protects privacy by evading large delivery networks that claim to offer free services. It complements regular blockers such as uBlock Origin, AdBlock Plus, and works directly out of the box, no prior configuration needed. So go ahead and put that on there. You can also install History Cleaner, which is going to delete your history at a specific amount of days. Maybe if you don't want someone looking at your browser history, someone in your family or someone else who somehow manages to get inside your browser. Smart HTTPS is a good option to encrypt uh, website traffic. Basically what it does is it's going to um, change HTTP addresses to secure HTTPS. And if a loading error encounters, it's just gonna revert it back to HTTP. So you shouldn't really have too many problems loading web pages, but it is gonna make things more secure. So go ahead and put that as well. Privacy Badger is a very good add-on as well that's gonna block invisible trackers on your browser. It says it automatically learns to block invisible trackers. Instead of keeping lists of what to do and what to block, Privacy Badger learns by watching which domains appear to be tracking you as you browse the web. Privacy browser sends a do not track signal with your browsing. If the tracker ignore your wishes, your browser will learn to block them. So that's a very good, well-respected uh, kind of tra anti-tracking uh, add-on. Let's go ahead and discuss some more popular add-ons you could take advantage of. One good add-on a lot of people like is going to be uBlock Origin. I've been using this for quite a long time. It's a very efficient ad blocker that is very low on CPU and memory. One cool thing about this is if there's an ad on a website, it'll almost like pop up in a way and then go away. So sometimes it automatically closes down ads. This is very good for browsing some, uh, you know, some of those. Hey, my battery is out. Dang it. So anyways, uBlock Origin is good if you want to look at some, uh, some other cool add-ons you could possibly add is Terms of Service Didn't Read. This is a very cool add-on that will, um, at times, if it can find a Terms of Service it recognizes, it will actually try to summate, give you a summation of it so you can actually understand it. Very cool. Go ahead and download browser add-on. Some examples of uh, services, including you know what it looks like when it does this, are found below. So it gives you pretty good explanations of what's going on here. Another thing you can do is cookie auto delete. This will delete cookies from your browser whenever you want them to auto delete. Now cookies can be useful in terms of usability because they can make websites a little bit quicker and help customize how the websites perform for you, but they can also be used to track you as well. So if you feel like you need to delete your cookies, check out this add-on. Now there are good and bad cookies pretty much. Now cookies don't necessarily compromise your privacy. Um, but depending on the cookie, it could. If you want, you can even block all cookies, which will cause websites to break, or configure uh, cookies from un unvisited websites and things like this. So you can really manage your cookies if you want to. 
So example, a third party cookie could be an like icon on a website uh, from Facebook. And then if you visit that website, it will actually give a Firefox a cookie. So the cookie can be read by Facebook at that point. So that's what would be considered a third party cookie. So you could disable uh, this if you want to in your settings or configure it like here. Another great add on you can add is called NoScript. Basically what NoScript does is it's going to uh, control how scripts are operated uh, within your browser. So with NoScript you could kind of control like you see in this image um, what scripts are allowed to load. So the good thing about this plugin is that you can visit a dangerous website and it will block scripts on the website that it sees as dangerous. Um, if you are encountering a website that you can't load images properly or it's not working, you can always allow it to be temporarily trusted, which means when the browser resets, the next time it will be uh, sent back to not trusted or you can permanently set to trusted if you do trust the website. This is a very good tool and a very popular one as well for people who like anonymity and security with their browser. It's a little bit confusing in some ways. Uh, you can install it and see kind of how it works from there. But this is what the interface looks like and you can configure it right here to change a various options based on specific websites. Overall, it's a very good add-on and one that definitely requires a little bit of exploration. But if you just kind of install it and work with it over time, I think you'll understand how it works. So by controlling scripts with no script, you can often stop JavaScript attacks and various other methods of attack that can actually put virus and malware on your computer. All right, guys, now we want to talk about going into Firefox directly and changing some of the configuration files. Basically, what you're going to do is type about config. Click here, accept the risk. And this is where you're gonna see this. So first thing we're gonna do is disable WebRTC. WebRTC could leak your IP even when you're using a VPN, so it's important to disable this. All right guys, so disable WebRTC, basically what you're gonna type, um, media.peerconnection.enabled. We'll click this entry. Now the value should be false. So now you won't be leaking WebRTC. Another thing you guys can do in the console is type privacy.resist fingerprinting equals true. This is going to make it so your Firefox is unable to be identified as easily via browser fingerprinting, which is sort of identifying your browser as uniquely you. So what we do, once you do that, you type here and then you do true. Another thing you could do is privacy.tracking protection crypto mining dot enabled so you want to make this uh, false you want to make this true as well this will make it so websites can't use your browser for uh, crypto mining I want to stop the website that you're visiting some looking at what you're clicking on you can do browser send pings and then change it to false so it's already at false just make sure that it is you want to stop the browser from tracking or websites from tracking if you have your battery life uh, status of your battery life you could turn that to false if you want to turn off the geolocation features for your browser you can also turn that to false if you don't like the pocket extension basically it is a extension uh, application from Firefox that will let you save articles and stuff like that you could disable that as well just turn it to false guys thanks for checking out this video on how to secure Firefox with a range of configuration tweaks as well as helpful add-ons if I didn't mention an add-on that you like to use with Firefox please feel free to leave it down in the description down below and remember by using a VPN with all these things configured you will be pretty anonymous on the internet all right guys thanks for checking out the video I'll see you again very soon